the different land forms of india now we are going to learn about the different land forms we'll start with mountains how mountains are formed and what are mountains mountains are the rocky masses of land that rise higher than the surroundings the mountains have very steep slopes and high peaks mountains usually occur in long rows called mountain ranges for example himalayas in the northern india mount everest is said to be the highest mountain peak in the world it is located in the himalayas in nepal now we are going to learn about the different types of mountains there are three types of mountains we come across these are fall mountains volcanic mountains and block mountains how fall mountains are formed these are formed when two large land masses push against each other with the force with the pressure you can see in the diagram when two large land masses push against each other with the pressure with the force they form fall mountains alps in the europe is an example of fall mountains now we'll come to volcanic mountains how volcanic mountains are formed these are formed by the molten rock from the molten lava from the deep inside the earth rises to the surface forming a volcano mount fuji in japan is an example is an example of volcanic mountains you can see in the diagram how the lava is erupted and it is forming into the rocks now we will come to the block mountains how block mountains are formed these are formed by splitting and sliding of large blocks of land you can see in the diagram how the blocks of the land is sliding and splitting forming into the mountains these mountains are called the block mountains black forest mountains in germany is an example of block mountains now we will learn about the valleys and passes what are valleys the low land between the hills or mountains is called a valley it is usually formed by glaciers or rivers wearing away rocks on mountains some valleys have rivers flowing through them example brahmaputra valley you can see in the diagram now we will learn about the passes what are passes mountains have low narrow gaps between so these gaps are called the passes passes people cross the mountains through these passes example khyber pass in the himalayas connect afghanistan and pakistan now we will learn about the plains what are plains plains are flat lands with gentle slopes rivers flowing from the mountains bring fertile soil to the plains so the crops grow well here plains are the thickly populated area in the world prairies of usa is an example of plain plateaus how plateaus are formed a land that is higher than the surroundings looks like a table it is called plateau it is raised slightly above the land deccan plateau is an example of the plateau which is in south india the Tib- tibetan plateau in the himalayas is the highest plateau in the world it is also known as the roof of the world you can see in the diagram deserts what are deserts deserts are extremely dry area of land with little rainfall and very few plants grow over here we could see cactus in deserts sahara desert in north africa it is the biggest desert in the world coasts what are coasts a place where land meets the sea you can see in the diagram how the land you can see it in the diagram a place where land meets the sea is called a coast some coasts are sandy and others are rocky peninsula what is peninsula a land that is surrounded by water on three sides you can see in the diagram how the water is surrounded how the land is surrounded by the sea on the three sides this is called a peninsula island what a island an island is a land surrounded on all the sides of the water sri lanka is an island now you have learned about the coast 
about the peninsula and about the islands. Peninsula is a land that is surrounded by water on three sides, while islands is a land that is surrounded by water on all the sides. Now we are going to learn about the bay. What is bay? The water surrounded on three sides by land is called a bay. Now you have learned about the peninsula. Peninsula is the opposite of the bay. There the land was surrounded by the sea on the three sides. Here the bay is surrounded. Here the sea is surrounded by the land on the three sides. This is called a bay. Rivers. What are rivers? Long streams of water are called rivers. Some rivers are formed by melting of snow and rainfall. Tributaries. What are tributaries? Several smaller rivers join the main river. They are called tributaries. You can see in the diagram how the small rivers are joining the big long river. And this, this river is going to fall in the ocean. This is how you can see in the diagram how different small rivers joining the main river. Now, what is this distributaries? Before entering, entering the sea, the river breaks up into channels. It is the opposite of the tributary. In tributary, we find the small rivers, different small rivers are joining the main river, the big river, the long river. Here in dis distributaries, the big river, the long river is breaking up into different small rivers before entering the sea. These are called distributaries. Now we are going to learn about the delta. Sometimes the distributaries spread out like a triangle before falling into the sea. Such a region is called a delta. You can see in the diagram how a river, a big river is has breaked up. You can see the river here. It breaks up into different rivers forming a triangular shape before entering the sea. This is called a delta. Please look at the diagram. Thank you.